Hey, so quick tutorial here. I want to cover some of um, the collaboration features of Onshape. I'm going to cover um, follow mode, uh, commenting, action items, and notifications. Um, it's going to make collaboration with your um, with your projects much easier. Um, that way, multiple people can be in the document at the same time, and you guys can collaborate and talk about what you see and um, and talk about features and also comment and create action items on parts. I have this basic um, figure back from Engineering 2 that I'm using here, 659. Um, I have two windows open. I have two windows open for a reason. I'm, I have two of me in, in this same document. Um, that's why in this, on this left screen it shows that there's another person in this and it's me and that's this right view screen. So I'm going to kind of quickly go over what a follow mode is. And what follow mode does, is, um, if you have multiple people in a document, uh, you can follow a person and see what they're doing on the screen. So by double clicking on the on their image up there, you enter follow mode. I'm following Brian Aquesta. Brian Aquesta start following you. So now over here, as you start to manipulate, so does it on your screen. So this way you can follow along and see what somebody's doing and uh, you can communicate and in Google Meet and talk about um, um, features and how you should design, um, um, how you should redesign, make changes, and um, also talk about errors and things like that. Um, so follow mode's a really nice feature for doing that. Um, it, it makes it a lot easier to kind of collaborate. Um, we can also comment. So you can bring up the comments here and you can add comments and create action items. So let's say um, you want to ask somebody, so we're going to say at, I'm going to just use myself obviously since you can see it over here, myself. Um, how do you like this feature? Question mark. And I'm going to, I'm going to say like just going to right click here, add to comment, so that way it's selected. I'm going to assign this to Brian Aquesta because I added my name here with the at symbol. And now I will assign. You can also um, um, browse for attachments and put attachments in here. You can also set this up so comment notification is off or on. So if you want to get a notification when someone comments back, you can. And so we'll hit assign. So what this does is uh, over here, we can see the comments. How do you like this feature? And it points at the surface. There it is right there. Um, and you can reply back. Uh, so let's say that um, we're going to reply, um, how about add fillets? And then uh, we'll say at Brian, so that way I get it. Why is my name up? There we go. Probably because of the question mark. There we go. How about adding fillets? Okay. So then you can also resolve the action item. So if we want to resolve it. We can. So if if there was a problem, you could type in this doesn't look right. And I think the dot diameter is supposed to be two inches instead of, and you had it at 1.5. So then someone could fix that and then resolve the action item by clicking resolve. But then you can reply back here, let's add fillets instead um, to the feature. Um, so that's a way you can do it. And also you can access your, ac uh, your, your action items. Over here at the top, action items, you may have it underneath your menu here on the right, um, but it could, it's also up here. And then you can see the action items that were assigned, and you can view the comments by going into it. Um, but you can see the action items. You can resolve them. Uh, so these, a list of all your action items will be there. So, But for it to pop populate there, you have to add the name in. Otherwise, it will not populate. You have to add the name in. Um, and then, you can, again, you can access your notifications as well. But... Um, all these are just really nice features for collaboration and on shape that, to make our lives a little bit easier with um, modeling parts in groups online.